Now, as of right now, districts all across our state, they're coming up with game plans for reopening classrooms. But what if teachers aren't on board with those plans? Well, ABC 15's Nicole Valdez tracking big developments with the J.O. Combs district tonight. Nicole, three straight days, classes canceled. So what's the solution here? Well, it was a long night, but the board approved virtual only learning to start tomorrow with the earliest possible date to bring students back August 31st. That decision, though, not made easy. A ton of back and forth tonight. Some teachers say no. We're trying to be responsible for your kids. Some parents say yes. I know what's best for my son, not the teachers. But at the center of it all, students like Isaiah Bustamante. I have no idea what's going on. I don't feel, I don't even feel like I'm in high school anymore. He's supposed to be starting his senior year. This whole thing is just really frustrating. It hasn't really been great on our education. And isn't sure when that'll change. The issue, the tension over getting comb students back in a classroom, well, you could probably cut it with a knife. If they felt comfortable, they would go to work. You can't let your employees education. Wednesday, J.O. Combs district leaders listened to the back and forth for more than an hour trying to plan their next move. They voted last week to start in-person learning Monday, then dozens of teachers called out in response. We adamantly believe that we're defending our kids. We love them. One of them, Dr. David Nelson, holding back tears when we asked why. I don't want to hurt these kids, but I don't want to go to another damn funeral. And I've been to five. So he asked me why. That's why. But then there are parents like David Brennan. They need to be held accountable. I do not support this at all. This is ridiculous. These kids need to learn. Who says enough is enough. They have a contract. Hold them to that. Find them for leaving. It's tough for me to feel bad for them. I do. I understand their, their point. But find another job then. And again, J.O. Combs students will be back to online learning tomorrow in person delayed until the end of the month. But the board will meet again on August 27th to see where they stack up in terms of benchmarks before pulling the trigger. Live in Santan Valley tonight, Nicole Valdez, ABC 15, Arizona.